What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Spanish Empire. And so to pick up where we left off, we are continuing our advance into India and we are attacking the garrison here at Udaipur with the force under Tito Cardenas. So we're going to be pretty aggressive here because there's a significant portion of their army is regular troops which will make them fall rather quickly um, on the receiving end of our volleys. So most of our troops are committed, but what would be interesting to do next turn is to have a look around and see if there are any opportunities for um, bringing in any armies on the coast. Because that's not something we've done a huge amount of. And I, from memory, I think there might actually be some um, empty ports we could exploit to attack major cities. I think that would be a good idea. Okay, so it's not really any fantastic positions for our artillery but we'll put it where we can significant fraction of howitzers here so much so I might actually take two of them out and leave them as round shot firing howitzers this army just fundamentally has too much artillery in it because we really do not have a lot of infantry and as you guys know infantry is my favourite arm of the triad of cavalry, artillery and infantry but we're going to form line and advance the general's going to come with he's a well, field marshal of the army so let's pick up our line hitch up hitch up and advance Significant portion of enemy units in the town to the right. Quick line firing units can focus on the um, on the artillery. No, on the infantry. Sorry, the artillery can be the focus of the of other units because fundamentally. How it says, well, my cavalry can deal with almost everyone except for, well, there's no except. They can they can deal with everyone. The challenge is timing it so that we, the, that we get the right engagements at the right time. So where's my halberdier guard? They're not going to get involved on the flank for an awfully long time. Got to remember there's quick climb coming in against those dervishes, so I can't stay, have spend too long attacking them or maybe any at this point so the artillery is going to come in and hit the musketmen and the furlock arm populace on this flank the skirmishers just open fire against those musketmen Fired a volley. Quick climb howitzers start to attack the units coming in to the rear. Completely missed. Completely missed these units charging in. That's what makes Conquistador. That's what makes my um, having elite units of infantry so good is that they become a bit less dependent on certain things happening so let's do a switch get my skirmishers attacking in the center and get my line infantry in the combat on the flank halberdiers are getting into position charge my field marshal into the dervishes get my skirmishers out You men both get out of square and form line. Field of foot, art foot artillery is engaging way off into the distance. Fortunately, the armed populace are shooting into the back of their own men. So if we can break this bowman unit, this infantry unit will charge on through the action into the firelock armed populace.
human all run up and form line. To the Halberdier Guard, <coughs> engaging the Barlock Arm Populace to the rear. Hey, where have you come from? Just a second, everyone, I'm going to sneeze. Apologies, everyone. Let's get my Conquistador engaged against the Bowman. Let's retarget my quick climb firing howitzers. So my Halberdier Guard should be really cutting their way through the armed populace. Get this infantry back into the line. The dervishes are shattered. Got my first battle. Of a session's always a bit pants. And my halberdier guard are going to chop their way through the bowmen. Then they're going to make their way into the flank of the dervishes because we've got another dervish unit up there charging in. So back here it's just mostly mortars, so I can send my infantry in. Some of these units, they're pretty... I can send my general in to start knocking out some of their artillery. My Halberdier Guard are attacking the dervishes. So form up. Dervishes are kind of stuck. Because my Halberdier Guard aren't going to mess around. These units are engaging the Mughal line. The dervishes are down. Charge the Halberdier Guard into the bowmen who have come back. Start knocking out some of their mortars. There we go, the flank is beginning to fall. The bowmen there have been knocked out. I've got a feeling that's soon going to be the end of it. But then on this flank, did take a bit of a hammering. There we go. Looks like that's the entire enemy force knocked out. Good stuff. That's another city on the frontier taken for the Spanish Empire. Yeah, we lost a good number more men than I would have liked. And I would have liked to get rid of some of your howitzers, really. So you get two East India Company infantry to replace them, or to get ready to replace them. These two units coming in, one of them is going to get, uh, get into position to pursue this force. This army, though, Mr. Guerto, you might actually... Well, no, probably best the other way around. Mr. Aguerto chase around the, the remnants Santos Reyes with his more interesting force can go for Satara because he can land in Bombay and run straight to the city. Go, well, I mean, there's a force here that might intervene, but don't think it's going to cause much of an issue. We could potentially take our cot, but I am happy to let my other armies replenish or these two forces replenish. Let's hop back to Europe. Because we do have a couple of armies here, like this one here. Although you were destined to go to the Americas, Mr. De Mercado. Well, go to India. Why the hell not? We've got a reasonable amount of strength in the Americas as it is. Mundo de Kahuna still replenishing. 
you're still watching the Danes, because we will declare on them, but we just want to wait till the timing is right. Same as we're holding armies in reserve here. Okay, okie dokie. A couple of minor upgrades, because we don't want to attack Denmark until our Cherokee armies, uh, until the armies we're going to use to attack the Cherokee are in position. Which, to be honest, might actually be better served being here. And one army up here. One army head north to Teleco. Two armies pushing north. We're pushing on towards Chikasa. And then we've got an army here with two armies to advance against Savannah. I think that would be a good outcome. So let's do a bit of upgrading here. Let's upgrade. Okay, another ship. There we go, because once we've conquered the continent, we obviously want to push out and take Yankton and Agvatuk, and also push on against York Factory and the Huron to the north. Strange they've not really pushed against us there. But elsewhere, I think things are as good as they can be. Yeah, our spies are still on the move. This force here at Dagestan can't really go anywhere, because if they leave... Minus eight. And I don't want to recruit these Dragoons, because they're special ones. I want to try and recruit regular Dragoons. Colonial Dragoons, there we go. One turn's worth of Colonial Dragoons. There we go. So you do have this city here under New Spain, which we will want to attack. I think that's everything, fundamentally, that we want to do. We have armies ready. Well, some of them are positioning against the new Spaniards. We don't want them to too easily repel our attacks. force up here which could be used to do something but I think the native factions are usually yeah, usually hmm, I think something's up with my mouse they're usually fairly well prepared yeah they're depleted but we don't know to what degree so what army we do send will probably hit Agvatuk then also onto York Factory while another takes um, Huron territory but we want to do that after we've knocked out the Cherokee we don't really want to do that until we get within range of the enemy of the enemy um, capitals or position as well as we can. But apart from that, I think we want to hit N10 and see what happens. Because we've got a lot of things that need to move. Yeah, more armies are pushing down. My spies are continuing to advance. New Spain is aware that things are up, but they can't really stop us. There's some rebellion in the Mughal capital, which is really useful. Yep, you may send agents forward to try and steal our technologies, but I do not think you're going to have too many turns of actually being able to make use of them. Right away, good sir. Opportunity to intercept with this main force, no artillery chance to intercept and destroy lots of troops in the open ground, especially ones that are already depleted. Yeah, huh We're gonna, definitely going to want to do that. We haven't got howitzers, but just set up with our artillery and just shoot the crap out of them. And the enemy will not be able to withstand us and they will break and flee. And that will be quite a good outcome, because then that means our two main armies that are fully balanced and equipped uh, will have an opportunity to replenish and the force that's up front that's a bit a bit more boring they can do a they can do a certain amount of the heavy lifting and clear the way around our cot i mean i definitely want to put some guns on these positions cuz a couple of positions here that they can't charge up 
but then let's put one gun back here to fire at range. So these three men, their job is to hold that draw. Take four infantry to hold the left. Four infantry to hold the right. I oh, know we've got some uh, light infantry in here, don't we? Fairly sure they're just treated the same as... Slightly longer accuracy, but not much. The light infantry is going to want to go... Okay, take these sepoys out onto the right flank. The light infantry can hold the centre. So take these three units plus two sepoy units. There, so then we've got three infantry units in reserve to deploy as necessary. Nope. So that and that is the light infantry. These two plus them. No, they're a they're a unit. So it's only these two that are my reserves. Okay, plus some company cavalry on either flank, which look like East India Company infantry mounted on horses. The general in the centre. Because yeah, I want two light infantry units. Their job is to protect the draw. As far as everyone else, we're not actually in that much trouble. Because everyone else is coming in fairly predictable directions, so I might actually move you guys out onto the right flank. Because yeah, there we go. The, the idea was if they advance up here, they'll have two light infantry units firing down into the center. A few men pivot and fire. They're the same, is that they got white hats. Oh, well, actually they are different, black facings. Yeah, they're gonna try and run up into my light infantry. See you men unlimber. We'll have to advance a bit further up. Hello. That's where the Marathas are coming in. Hello, dervishes. No, oh, they got stuck on the hill. Go on, men, shoot them. To be honest, I, I expect these guns are probably not going to be super... Well, this unit might actually not be that bad. Uh, there's more my sword troops coming in. I see. So the Mughals are coming in all the way back there. Handy. It's not a bad position for canister shot. So you should engage the first. It's a lot of men down. What I'd like is to try and push down it. Well, I'll bring my line infantry there as well, but I'd like to push down it and deploy some stakes. This gun team at the back here engage the enemy general. I 
Round shot, the general's bodyguard. There we go. This unit will not be around for too long. Especially if they start charging like that again. Enemy general's been killed. Suspect it's this chap. It is this chap. Pivot to face off against the new enemy. It's gonna fly a round shot at... The Marathas in the distance. Let's take three of you to get up here. Let's take f you four and advance up to put your flank up against this at the side of this feature here. I've got my light infantry and some line infantry protecting the gap in the centre. The enemy's trying to get involved. I think we have to take the war to them because they're not going to Looks like they're not going to bring it to us. Which isn't an issue. Does mean this flank probably needs to pick up the pace a bit more. Bad things are happening to the 6th Dakili. That might be all the Mughal troops they're going to bring to bear. I bet they're a bit... Un they're unhappy with the idea that they are... losing those troops for a Mosul territory that will not earn itself back. Advance up, because there's the 8th entering the field. Yeah, they do have some guns back here. 12 pounders. You guys should be able to make it up here before the 8th enter the field. Hopefully make them route and immediately push them back out off the map. I'd like these guys to deploy stakes, but I don't think I'm going to get that opportunity. Ooh, they lost a bunch of elephants in one volley. My light infantry is beginning to engage. Desert Camel Nomads are inbound. Form and kill a kill box because we know where the eighth are going to come in now. Nope. Sipoy's on the flank. Run through. Run my cavalry through the square formation. There we go. They've broken. They run the cavalry through the square. Draw the camels in. Kizzle Bashi have charged us. Wait a minute, you're wavering to a, a unit of horsemen are charging you. No camels. Don't run back to the... No cavalry, don't run back to the camels. Yeah, you're going to manage them. Run the cavalry up. Push up my left flank here. 
Get my light infantry out of there. Okay, you guys get to the rear of the dervishes and begin attacking. So you men advance up to the high ground here. Yep, yeah, fair enough, light infantry. You did not want to play ball. All military folks fire those camel mercenaries. Then when this unit enters the field, they should volley, 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 and go home. Get my cavalry over here. Get all my guns to now focus on that unit of camel gunners. You men form line. And there we go. So I don't think there's any more Moogle stuff to come in. New men charge in the back of the dervishes. My cavalry start to chase down. Wasn't really what I intended to do with that light infantry, but it's still good. They're still coming in. Artillery's going after their artillery, but it can all cease fire. Twelve pound of foot artillery, you're going down. And we do want to knock it out. There we go, because I've got a feeling we may get sallied by the garrison. So whatever we kill now is just something we haven't got to fight later on. One last dervish. There. Got him. Get my cavalry over here because there's only 12. Um, there's only 12 infantry left in that unit. The 10th have lost a whole lot of men. Right off the bat, every t as soon as they enter the field. Good stuff. Don't need to worry about bringing my general in because, to be honest, it doesn't really matter. I might just bring them all over to attack the 27th because everyone else is going to flee so everyone that's infantry here except for the except for the cavalry yeah begin to march over here fire it well off there's no rush as soon as yeah, this unit enters the field. Blam, 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 blam. Back they go. Hey, don't worry, fellas. We're safe as long as we don't appear on the map. Then... Wham! They show up. I mean, I haven't deployed a bit close, but it looks like it seems to be generally okay because they've all reloaded by the time they're in. By the time the next unit comes in, which means they can all fire three volleys in rapid succession. And the morale effect of all these volleys going off at once is huge. So you go after that unit, you guys come after that unit of dervishes. Nope. Split them up. 
You guys knock out that Kizilbashi unit. Let's speed up time, to be honest, because right now... All that's going on is... Oh, you might actually get slightly further because you're a bigger unit and you're more spread out. I don't think you're actually bigger. You are just more spread out. Go on, Regiment of Foot. You're losing a lot of men very quickly. Second rank. Second rank. The officer fired his pistol. There we go. One last musketeer. So let's just speed up time fundamentally. The only thing that's actually going on are these is mopping up these dervishes who are sp annoyingly slightly spread out no we're gonna get him yeah we did get him his body's there, right there so then all we're doing is mopping up these uh oh that's arm populace now volley 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 and back they go Yeah, we may as well play it at increased speed because fundamentally what's going to happen here except just <laughs> they're going to break and then immediately run close victory that wasn't close that was a slaughter that was a great result for us there we go we lost nearly 700 men they lost two and a half thousand not quite the support you were banking on your major indian allies for a my saw I'm going to auto that. I'm not going to fight it again. <laughs> We're going to, it doesn't mean that the armies to the rear are going to get some attrition, but that's okay. We're not trying to immediately push in the south. We are drawing in enemy forces and they are being eradicated. So you can clear out this raiding force. Let's repair the tavern. Destroy the boardy house. So Mr. Roy, replenish, then advance, like so. You embark aboard ship, but we're not going to do anything with you yet. This chap's going to advance up to the front. Your infantry are going to go... Where's Mr... Who? Oh, it was um, this chap in Odaipur. How are just going to stay as a loose unit for now? Although you're ripe. Oh no, I can't. Let's get rid of those East India Company troops. Destroy that ra that um, raiding stack. Back you go. Because you've got you. Uh, okay, the garrison. In, under Frederico de Soria can wipe out that force again or attack them again good stuff so you men can replenish and advance east Punjab is okay with us leaving Felix Galas take the city just it will hold the city just in case for now Bernardino, advance south. Ahmad Nagar currently has no protection, so go for it. Miguel Capitello can go after this lone stack and destroy them. Hold the bridge. Upgrading the farms. The artillery can stay in a Medabad for now. New building. Okay, gold mines have been built, we're upgrading new ports, upgrading farmland. Good stuff. Metal roads. Right, lots of basic ports that would be good to upgrade.
good. Okay, so the one thing we're going to need to make sure we stay on top of is going to be roads. Because it's going to be quite easy to forget about them and then be screwed over once our reinforcements try and do some good stuff. I do like that they are currently being rebelled against. Recruitment report, Mesopotamia. You men march up to Turkey. Workers on strike in Kashmir. Yeah, exempt them from tax. And workers on strike in Malta. Exempt them from two. Ooh, that's not so good. But we do have a backup army. Because you at Corsica can, I think you can leave Corsica. You can indeed, and they like us quite a lot. There we go. You men take position. Governing Malta. So in terms of armies, like stuff like this that sh I should have done a while ago, but didn't. To be honest, I can start sending troops to America, really. Because I'm not going... I don't think I'm going to need them in the Americas, the way things are going. You're continuing to march south. Cavalry, Lancers and Rocket Artillery to Fonzie Nunez. Oh, that's right. I started w recruiting things backwards, didn't I? So you needed artillery. Three batteries of 12 pounders. Oh, I think I. I think. One of those infantry go back to Mr. Calabar. And then you attempt to recruit some howitzers. Although it might just be easy to build them from. Oh, okay. So that could be what was supposed to go in there, and I've got ahead of myself. Very well. I can reorganize as needed. Let's upgrade the ordnance board. There we go. Lots of spies spying around the world for Spanish interests. So we are soon going to be in the right position to attack the Cherokee. But doesn't that cause issues with... No, Pueblo Nation should hate everyone. Okay. Good. Apart from that, though, we've got... Yeah, these forces... Ooh, you actually took a loss. Both these forces just need time to rebuild. Maintain the strength of my main force, although we might actually combine... A sepoy unit into a couple of other units to free up a space. There we go. So we've got some extra support, some sloops. So send a sloop up to Bombay. Send a sloop up the coast. Send one to Madras. And then send a sloop to Yanoan. The sixth rate here. There we go. Deploy your men ashore. And then we can take our uh, army here and begin to create even more space, or as much as we can. 
Oh, okay. Let's combine our light infantry units together because they've been not entirely successful. What have we got? Mostly support sepoys. So bring a sepoy unit out. Send a fresh one in. You're in as good a shape up front as can be expected. Four turns left to siege the city. Pablo Alvarez. You can sail to Bombay. P try and demand the surrender. Good, we can demand the surrender. The city is ours. We can repair all these buildings, but it looks like... We do school and a weaver's cottage. Let's destroy the school. Upgrade the roads. That should bring them into line. Ooh, maybe not. Minus 22. Because minus 6 when we destroy the school. But the, the, the counterbalance of repairing all these buildings should be enough. Miguel Capitello, you might actually rush towards Hyderabad. Well, rush as fast as you can get. You guys can leave Malwa and advance towards Nagpur. You get to Eugene to fill in the gaps. All of our roads are being built as fast as they can. So you can go to church school here, upgrade the craft workshop, upgrade the tavern, upgrade the road, upgrade the farm. So you advance that way, you advance to the south of Akbarabad. We're making progress. We are making progress. I mean, Goa would also be a lovely one to take. But let's hit in turn. I think this uh, this India campaign might be more similar to the my British campaign than my Louisiana one. That was particularly difficult. But I wonder how much of it is down to the fact that they just had... Well, no, I was going to say they had a fantastic empire and I conquered everywhere else except... See, I thought a Mughal army might slip down the gap, but that's okay. All the rebels are being defeated. My, oh, this ship might go out and try and snipe some of my brigs or sloops. Yeah, it's a sick rate. Oh no, they've got my, got my brig. Huh. Oh, this army stopped moving. Well, as they send their agents north, they can start to see just how much. Uh, firepower we can bring to bear. I mean, I'm just going to start autoing at this point, because these are just these little armies are just... Yeesh. Back you get. <laughs> and again... Nope. This is what happens when you have you don't have that decisive strength. You have to kind of withstand just gradually decreasingly, well, incre increasingly weak or decreasingly strong, wave after wave after wave of enemy troops. You just start to think, for God's sake, just shoot me now. Fleet destroyed. Eh, it's not. It's not really a fleet, is it? Let's be honest. I mean, this force that's just incredibly weak is just going to go west and try and demand the surrender of Mysore because they've left it exposed. <laughs> the fools. Are there any schools in here? School there. No building, craft workshop. Do not try and build anything because that would be crazy. You men advance and demand the surrender of Ahmad Nagar? No, they didn't go for it that time. Let's go Vyderabad. Eh, yeah, it was a bold move, but you're going to have to come back. I don't want to be too... Uh, too caught out by stuff like that. That's why I wanted armies like this guy to advance up behind the line. You ran out of orders, didn't you, Mr. Kiroga? 
Let's give you an order to attack Calcutta. They'll run through India like that. And then when they get close to the front, I can give them actual orders. Okay, so you advance that direction. You men push to the south. Mr. Cardinal, you need that infantry back. Push for Katak, I suppose. Can we build that industrial building? Felix Gallas can advance out of Lahore. You can raid Delhi. We've got lots of fleet arrives. So, this force here can attack Goa. There's a small force in Vengurla. Demand the surrender of Goa. Again, because there's no... There's no one defending it. We may as well. Oscar here. Sail up to Katak. See if that's exposed. And it is. Utterly. It's not always a guarantee for them to accept the surrender, but it's... It's not bad that this army sail up to Calcutta, because I can tell it's not garrisoned. I mean, the Mughal Empire might have just collapsed in a single turn. Yeah, although they might make a fight of it, which if they do, good for them. Good. So what we can do is we can say, okay, let's take these two armies. No, don't disembark. You just have to get to the city. And the army also maintain the siege of, of uh, Calcutta there. And this force here under Matthias de Galve. There's nowhere quick where you can get to Hyderabad, but I'm going to land them to the north of the, the fighting down at Arcot. Because it's only a short hop, relatively, to get to Hyderabad from there. But let's end what well, we've got. 13 minutes in this episode. So let's take Mr. Chavez and attack Ahmadnagar, then kick off the next episode with the attack at Calcutta. I think that's a good outcome. I mean, this is going to be fairly quick. Storm forward, uh, take their gun line and destroy their infantry and take the city. But it is strange. It's very strange how the Indian faction has reacted both in this campaign and my Great Britain campaign when in Louisiana they were so much stronger they were just overwhelming and in Italy as well maybe it's to do with the fact that I'm a minor nation maybe I don't know but either way form our form our offensive line And swarm, 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 attack Paran Alpha. General is going to join in the action too. All my artillery is going to open up on the howitzers. And they've not done a single thing. They've not knocked out a single gun. And that awesome... Mortar response. Yeah, just like bang in the centre of my line. So part of it's not even the damage it does, it's just this, where it knocks people over. Oh, populace, garrison musketmen. Another volley. Got more to unit to waver. I've got more to you to break under concentrated artillery fire. Ooh, that wasn't fast enough there. You 
then go after the armed populace, get my general's bodyguard against the armed populace as well. The sooner we break them, the sooner their mortars don't start, don't keep killing my men. Going to push back the firelock arm populace. There you go, my general's ridden in to cut apart some of these armed populace chaps. There we go. Maintain the offensive line. Come on. Get these armed populace units out of here. How it says engage. Can't really engage. That armed populace unit is not long for this world. Human advance, human advance. Okay, good. So my general's curiosity air charge the musketman, general's bodyguard, push around the rear. This infantry unit attack the 26th to kill. Just to tie them up. These units push up and support the attack on the infantry as well, because to be honest, the mortars are exposed. They've left some infantry behind, but we can so we can kind of ignore that unit of musketmen are there. Mortars are gone. So this regiment of infantry is holding on heroically. Don't worry men, support is coming in. Cease fire. There we go. Good stuff. You get involved, you get involved, everyone get involved to fight the 26th. So how well does this guy get on? You got a kill? That's one for this guy. Don't look at me. Oh, no, no. Ah. Oh. Okay, this is the new guy. No, oh, no, that's not the new guy. This is the new guy. So he's, oh, he's... Oh no, this is the guy. He's behind the lines. But will it cost him his life? I, mean, I think the enemy uh, they're not doing such great, such so well in the... in the in this particular melee engagement. Oh. Make sure nothing else is gonna... Is, oh, okay, there's a firelock fire lock on populace unit that could... <laughs> let's just send them as a giant blob. So let's speed up time. Just to watch how the AI reacts to just a huge blob of... There we go. So they're, li they're, they're lined up and you just see... Oh my... Oh god, they're counter-charging! But look how many more men we have. I mean this guy. Go on guys, get him. Yeah, yes right, you guys got this. <laughs> oh dear dear dear. There we go. Awesome. 
So there's another territory captured. This has been just a precipitous decline on the part of the Mughal Empire because, I mean, goddamn, they've just collapsed. They have completely collapsed. Get some more tea. More tea. Yeah. yeah. So what have they got? Akbarabad, Nagpur, Hyderabad. H Nagpur I'm not far from. Hyderabad I'm not far from. Calcutta we're going to take now. Akbarabad. We've got plenty of troops within range. But let's just check all of these fleet arrives because some of them will be people in America. Yeah, there we go. Uh, you might sail north and attack the Inuit. Fairly sure the Inuit aren't going to cause a problem. Well, they're already at war with the Inuit. Ha ha! So just land your troops and let them come at you. Keep my ships nearby just in case. And the last fleet arrived was in India. My fleet destroyed. Keep my road upgrades going strong. New town in Ufa. Industrial building. Let's upgrade some farms. Let's give you governor's military barracks. Strictly speaking, it's probably a better idea to just... I mean, you guys aren't even going to be needed anymore. You're going to go straight down to Bandar Abbas. Might not even be needed there either. Same with you, Mr. Kiroga. Get down to Bandar Abbas. That's where you're going to meet ships to sail you to the Americas. There we go. Do a bit of... Let's do a bit of city or town upgrading. Because right now there's a huge amount of territories that we can upgrade. And now we've got excess capital. It's probably wise just to get that done. I mean, this is what happens when you expand too quickly. Is that everything... I'm not, okay, I'm not going to upgrade everything in India because we've still got some um, pockets of enemy resistance nearby. But everything inside the towns... Yeah, sure. And infrastructure, obviously, once you've taken over a place. But yeah, like this, these armies... I mean, Mysore's going to fall. I mean, Mysore can just... Fundamentally, that's my, Mysore is dead. There is no point carrying on pretending that Mysore is alive. So Marcio Campos... Hold ground there. Mr. Ori, replenish. Repair the shipyard. Repair that. Upgrade you. Repair the shipyard. We don't really... Well, don't need to. You're going to push towards Hyderabad. You've taken Katak. Okay, so who's got the coolest army to attack? This guy for darn sure, Mr. Guerrero. 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 Paulino! He has rockets, which are fun. Got one, uh, two howitz units, which is good. And also, it's our first use of the Portuguese Cazador. So I think that would be that would be quite fun to attack, although we have no defences. Either way, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the capture of the territory of Calcutta. Cheers, everyone.